I love my job. I took a lot of pride in my work. I would still be doing it today if I hadn't <clears throat> been told by my, my doctor that I could never be able to work again if I breathed in silica dust. <laughs> there, there's, there's very few times in your life when you're put in a position to do, to do something greater than yourself. But if one person is saved by this, it's, it's worthwhile, it is. Someone asked President Boland, he said, they said, what, what has been your biggest accomplishment being the president? And, and he didn't think about it. The first thing he said was this law. And it's that selfless kind of thinking that's gonna save lives down the road. I took early retirement from union service and 2010 because of my health. I worked hard for my retirement. And, and it, it was like that brass ring was right there and, you know, that snatched it right out of my hands. A few years ago, I started noticing that my breathing wasn't what it used to be. I went to the hospital. They gave me three breathing treatments. It usually takes one to bring somebody back to, to where they need to be. The ER doctor came over and asked me what that pink stuff was in the, in the canister, and I told him that was the color of the last floor I ground. And he laughed until he realized I was serious. He told me at that point that I should probably change careers, which is not good news for me because this is all I've ever done and it's all I know. And the worst feeling in the world is looking out the back window at two beautiful little girls in the swing set and telling them daddy's gonna lose their house because he can't go to work anymore. I hope that the people in this room in OSHA can help these young kids because you know what? They, they can't speak up. You have to do it. They have to go to work. They have to take care of their families. They live paycheck to paycheck, you know? And if they open their mouth, they're done. Please just work with OSHA and, and step up and don't be afraid to go to the job and tell people, you know what I mean? My guy's not working like that. When I was 13 years old, I, we, I watched my father die of silicosis. So I know exactly um, what their families are gonna go through. The toughest memory to live with, Sean echoed what every man and woman would do for their kids. He walks into home from work one day. He fell on the floor and said, I can't do it no more. That was the last day he worked. It's inconceivable to me that for my entire career, well, actually longer since my dad died, that there's been no change in the standard. There's no real teeth in it either, by the way. That's the real problem. Just turn the vacuum or the water on. It's really not that difficult. So thank you. Let's get this thing done.